So the first step in making the belts is to take a side of leather, which shows up at my doorstep, and cut it into belt blanks, basically, or straps, four inch straps. Um, I like to do it this way just because I like to see the project from start to finish. You can buy the sides of leather already strap cut, but there's something about taking it from its raw form and then seeing the belt emerge at the end of the process that I really appreciate. So we start from brass tacks. From the beginning, Grant was adamant that all the construction materials for the belts be sourced in America and as locally as possible. So all of our leather is domestic. Um, I buy my rivets in Pacoima. <laughs> so we've done our best to try to stay true to that concept. So when the lockdown kind of came about, uh, I saw the guys over at the Strength Co. were making their own racks and giving them out to people and making benches. And that's when the idea of maybe using the leather working tools came up, like what could I do to kind of contribute to, to the cause over at the Strength Co. And this is what we came up with, uh, which was uh, the, the four inch duty belt. So I learned how to hand carve leather at a leather store in Grand Terrace, California, um, out in the Inland Empire, uh, where they would hold saddle making classes on the weekends. And when I was a kid, my dad would take me down there and the old timers would uh, go over the process. And so uh, that's that's where these, uh, the process here for the four inch duty belts sort of emerged. So you take a design, any design you want in the leather, you use a sheet of tracing film, you wet the leather, apply the design to the leather via a stylus, and then come back with your knife and cut the design as cleanly as you possibly can, and then go back through with a beveler to give it a 3D effect. So you get an embossed look, but it's all done one step at a time. So to personalize the belts and to cut the Strength Co. logo, and to do all the customization. Uh, we don't have access to laser markers or embroidery machines, so we use a technique that's uh, as old as leather craft, at least in the modern era, and it's, uh, it's called a swivel knife. And so uh, the names on the belts, the logos, are all cut with a knife and beveled with hand tools and then hand painted uh, with a paintbrush. So uh, this, is, this harkens back to an era when like saddlery was all done by hand by, by expert saddle crafters and uh, that was the technique used to carve those beautiful Sheridan style uh, western floral designs into saddles and that's the same technique we use on the belts here at Strength Co. So the next step in the process is to laminate the pieces of the multi-ply belt together. So we use uh, American sourced black suede on both sides so those straps are cut to size and laminated together with an adhesive and then it's uh, left to dry completely to be stitched. I really wanted the handmade aspect to be a big part of what we were offering. Um, and so when we started looking at sewing machines, we came across a hand cranked one, which I thought kind of fit the bill nicely for the operation we had going. And so we hand, we hand stitch each belt by, by means of a hand crank sewing machine. 